Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rag. In this video, I will be showing you how to find the surface area of three-dimensional figures using a net. Okay. Now, a net is just a 2D pattern that can be folded to form your three-dimensional figure. So, in this example, I have a net of a triangular prism okay and I know it's a triangular prism because I have two sides that are congruent and parallel so if I were to fold this net this triangle here and this triangle down here would be my bases they would be my two sides that are congruent and parallel okay so uh, there are two types of surface area that we're going to talk about okay we have total surface area and we have lateral surface area so total surface area is just what it says we're going to find the area of all of our surfaces on this three-dimensional shape okay and that's why it's important that we are able to use a net because a net really helps us uh, find the area of our faces so total surface area we're finding the area on the surface of all of our faces that make up this three-dimensional figure lateral surface area and I wrote three L's lateral surface area just focuses on the area of the lateral faces okay so the lateral faces are all the sides except for the bases so our lateral surface area would be the combined area of my three rectangles here total surface area would be the area of the three rectangles as well as the two triangles all right <coughs> so now that we've worked that now that we've discussed that let's go ahead and get into finding the lateral uh, surface area so like I said we're gonna find the area of my lateral faces I have three rectangles so it should be fairly easy area of a rectangle is base times the height so my first rectangle it's five by seven so five times seven we get 35 square centimeters see if I can write that a little better 35 square centimeters my next rectangle is 3 by 7 so 3 times 7 gives me 21 centimeters squared so this is 21 all right, and then my last rectangle is four by seven centimeters. So we have base times height, four times seven. It's gonna give me 28 centimeters squared. So, oops, 28 centimeters squared. So my lateral area I would just add up 35 plus 21 plus 28 so we got 6 14 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8 so my lateral surface area is 84 square centimeters 
Now, my total surface area is going to be this 84 square centimeters as well as the area of my two triangles. Okay, so <clears throat> let's find the area of my two triangles. I have, let's first, let's write the formula for the area of a triangle. One half base times the height. So I have one half. The base of my triangle is right here. So this is three centimeters. So one half times three. And the height of my triangle will always be a perpendicular line uh, from the base. So it's a straight line that's gonna intersect the base. So that means my height is four centimeters and not this five centimeters that's slanted up here, but we need a straight line, so four centimeters. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply the three times the four first. So I get one half times 12, and I know that half of 12 gives me six. So the area of one of these triangles is six centimeters squared. All right, and I have two of them. So basically I have six centimeters squared, six centimeters squared, so that's 12 centimeters squared that I need to add on to my 84 centimeters. So 84 centimeters squared plus my 12 centimeters squared gives me a total surface area of 96 centimeters squared. And there you go, lateral and total surface area of a triangular prism. Thanks for watching.